Okay, we are live for Cutting Down the Nets, and this is the March 6th edition, where we have a nice slate of games. Schedule's a mess today. There's like 80 games, some neutral, some home, some regular, some conference tournament, some not. It's one of the hardest days to sift through the schedule, and it only gets easier from here on out. So here's what we got. Let's start with yours truly banking the college basketball tournament I entered first out of 594 people, thanks to a Grant Sherfield onions at the end. You love to see it. So we went five and five. There was times where it felt like that was going to be seven and three and times where it felt like it was going to be three and seven. So I will get out paying the juice and get on with my life and attack today. Here is the pool that I was choosing from. Uh, red was stay away. The pit situation, Clemson's profile was uh, no thanks. Elon and Towson, I had to clean up both profiles a little too much to get excited about playing a side, but might go in on Elon uh, later. Vandy was close. We'll see if they made the cut. And then the other two, I'd have to see some line movement. And I'm not really interested in betting against UConn with Book Knight back. Uh, other games of note, we have some conference finals today. Belmont-Moorhead. We have the semis in Arch Madness and then some major conference action. Some A-10 um, semifinals in there as well. So great day of basketball. I personally um, am looking forward to the conference tournaments more than any uh, major game today. Game number one. If you remember this Sports Illustrated cover of Felipe Lopez, you and I are of similar age. Um, I had the Johnnies winning this game. It says by eight and a half. Um, baseline was around four. Either way, this was a play on St. John's. I'm in. Um, most of this is due to my weight on recent data, and Seton Hall has been sliding as the year goes on. So give me the Johnnies at home um, in game number one. Next up, you've seen me play these guys before. And typically it's because of their opponents, and today is no different. So we have New Orleans laying eight. As you have seen with bad teams, it just can be a grind at times. I do have this um, much greater, but um, always a risk when you're playing the bad teams. Man, this was hard to do. I love slew. I do. Like, that's, that's my jam. Got a slew shirt and everything, but the... The Bonnies profile better at this point in the season. You can argue that Slew is back. I feel like I've accounted for all of that and uh, still have the Bonnies. So I, getting points here feels like a good bet to me. So I will take St. Bonaventure in the A-10 semis. Going from Travis Ford game to Travis Ford game, we have Kentucky. I don't know if I've bet Kentucky all year, to be honest with you. So kind of crazy. But look at their profile. That's not a bad team. Um, South Carolina limping across the finish line. I think both teams are more focused on the SEC tournament. But this looks like a good spot for Kentucky in their tune-up, and I like how the data matched that one up. Next game, we have Duke Ol Roy at home against Mike. Watch your major. Shashetsky. Uh, fun note, when I was in eighth grade basketball and um, taking the ball out of bounds, the ref stopped to tell me I looked like Bobby Hurley. You can be the judge of that. I think it was just that we had the same haircut. And we were both point guards at the time. Um, both these teams are pretty good and better than their record would indicate. I don't think either makes the NCAA tournament, but I don't live in the bracketology projections. I focus on the stuff I do. But, uh, yeah, these teams are both good. So it'll be interesting to see 
how it shakes out in the ACC tournament. So give me Duke getting any points. Pick them or better. I'm going, going back to back to Vandy. Pippen's back. We didn't even need Pippen. They just keep getting undervalued. So Vandy again. We ride on. We ride on with Vandy. Final game on the card, VMI against Furman. Furman is the favorite in this conference. I've got it closer, and um, I wouldn't expect the line to get away from much away from eight. Uh, people really like to play the conference favorites in these type of games, but I will take the points with VMI. So thanks for stopping by, cutting down the net.